Oh my goodness, Spooky Scarab, she's delicious, juicy Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are going to take a look at you and your person, whoever's on your mind, baby. Situationship, relationship, a bumble date, marriage. You read his thumb. Is that kind of a situation? But then we are assuming, assuming. Yum, yum, yum. Some kind of a rip or separation between you and your person. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a little bit though. Oh, Gemini, how are you doing today, baby? Mommy's feeling it. I'm feeling the energy is very, very, very prominently. Still the full moon energy upon us, but Bill. Um, how is the full moon for you, baby? Let me know in the comments below. Did you have a lot of fun? Did you let the crazy out? Mm, okay, well, somebody's letting the crazy out, Gemini. All right, and it's your bit, High priestess, next to the high priestess, the devil. Mm, someone, <laughs> someone's traveling on the astral planes thinking about you, bit Gemini, it's almost like, I mean, you're a magical bit -boo. You know your, your mommy's little magical uh, lucky star. But for this person, they're kind of stuck in, in your orbit. They're definitely stuck, like, psychically they're stuck. And then they're uh, unconscious, they're stuck on you. Someone's thinking about you a lot. Can't get you out of my mind. And they dream about you a lot. You follow them, you know? It's like your shadow follows them wherever they go. Let's clarify this. Hi, Priestess. Wow. Gemini, this is a textbook reading. We should be like, this should be in the textbook. So we, we clarified the, the High Priestess here in terms of their feelings and their situation, which was next to the devil clarified by the devil. Okay. Mm. This person feels bound to you. They're like, did you put, put a spell on me, Gemini? Like legitimately. They're like, are you magical? What's going on? This is obsessive energy. A uh, heartbreak here at the bottom of the deck. This person is heartbroken. At the same time, they're, they're trying to forget, you know, a three of cups. Let's face it, this person trying to forget. You could be even like partying to forget or doing substances to forget. They're doing something, overdoing, overdoing something, overusing something. The situation ended. This is um, more than a riff. This is definitely like some kind of a separation. The six of swords. <sighs> Are you the devil himself, Gemini? Like, what's going on here? This is how this person is perceiving you. There's something so magnetic about you. They can't stop thinking about you. Something could have ended in Pisces season here. Could have ended in Capricorn season. They're still thinking about you, baby. Please show me and tell us what happened in the past to make decisions. So, Gemini, you really got to this, Bibbo. You got to them. They don't understand. Like, why am I still thinking about the Gemini? Why can I not forget Gemini? <laughs> Gemini, did you ghost this? I'm not going to say the word, but did you ghost this douche flute? It's like you ghosted them. Four of swords. You just like got yourself out of the equation. Equation. You deleted them from the database. <sighs> you had enough of this BS. You know, maybe you just withdrew your energy, but in either case, Gemini, you, you, you kind of came out of the smelling of roses and this person lost all their dignity and like, Post the separation, post things not working out, they lost all their dignity. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. They have no dignity left because they keep thinking about you and they don't, they, they just don't understand why. Also, Gemini, before we get into the psychology of the indi in individual douche flute, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel of Tarot, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. I see you. I appreciate you. I love you, baby. Also, Gemini, if you are interested in a private reading, all the information is in the Discord box below, together with my updated prices. Thank you, everyone who uh, has reached out so far to... Um, <coughs> use the opportunity to get the old pricing. The old pricing is now up, baby. However, mommy loves you, so I have all kinds of new offers. I have a summer of love spell, baby. Check it out in the description box below. If you wanna be attracting new love this summer, I have a special offer for that. And I also have a special offer for a tarot reading and summer of love spell work. Magic, love magic, baby. <laughs> I know I'm doing this. Abracadabra. Uh, if you wanna do the abracadabras, I got um, two very special summer offers. They're like basically half price um, compared to what it normally is. So I'm still giving you some goodies, but boo, because I love you. Mm. All right, so that was some good news and bad news. All right, but anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bipboos, also for watching my channel all this time. I really appreciate it. I am so humbled, seriously, like, thank you. Um, all right, back to the douche flute. Um, 
this person is trying to win something here, you know? <laughs> if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, they come in as the Knight of Swords. So try to come in, conquer, divide and conquer, and leave, you know? In and out energy. Somebody who came in with bad intentions even. They, you know, they wanted to kind of play with your mind a little bit and they wanted to win something. So to them, dating and love is a competition. It's not a high vibrational energy. It's someone who's operating from their ego, like the lowest vibrational ego as well. The sword, you know, it's a small sword as well. I'm just saying, <clears throat> it's not that big. I mean, you know, it's really good size is relative. Uh, Knight of Wands. What was between you? That was the issue. Like what got between you was this person's ego and passion. Um, they were trying to dominate you in some way as well. They were trying to like set the pace for the connection. They were trying to set the pace for the communication, have it their way. And they were trying to um, almost like play some kind of a word game with you. You know, they were trying to gaslight you in some way, even so early on in the connection. If it was just, you know, it just met on Hinge, Bumble, etc. They were already trying to play some game with you, and you felt that, and you got yourself out of the equation, but boo, Gemini, because you are the game. So you can't play as Gemini. We all know that. <clears throat> but now this person is obsessed with you. They thought they were coming in for like a little, you know, use them and lose them situation. Gemini outsmarted this douche flute, and now they're, they're just obsessed with you. They're obsessively thinking about you. If it was a more established connection, and also it's, you know, passions of the flesh. Like, I mean, you know, the devil is someone who is bound to passions of the flesh. They may also, by the way, have a propensity to lead that kind of lifestyle, bad choices, too, too many parties. You know, they're kind of bound to the devil here in some way. Uh, but the biggest devil in their life is you. <laughs> Oh, but Bill, it's getting hot in here. Um, if it was a more established connection, this is somebody who, again, you know, just wanted to win at any cost. There were many arguments between the two of you. A lot of arguments ended up um, with uh, the two of you making it up in the bedroom. <laughs> um, despite, you know, the small sword, whatever. Um, I mean, the sword is the intellect as well. So it's, so it's somebody who is trying to outsmart you in this relationship when you were the smarter one. I mean, this person has one sword in their card. You got four. So it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> there's a disparity here. But you were like, you know, you, you always gave them the benefit of the doubt. You know, I feel like you were always, you know, I think they stimulated you intellectually as well. And you saw their brilliance. Could be someone who works with their mind or works in the communication kind of business in some kind of a way. So really good with their words. And they were very passionate. There was definitely passion between the two of you. At the same time, you're always giving this person, like, you know, the benefit of the doubt. You're always the bigger person. You always had, because like, because you just are the bigger person, you know. <laughs> but in the end, you're like, I can't, you know, deal with this. You're too immature. You're not like, you know, you cause too many dramas. You cause me too many arguments. You're stressing me out too much. I can't deal with that. And you stop dealing with a Gemini bit bill. This is what I see. Their intentions are to somehow, some way, <laughs> somehow, some way, make their way back to you. But it's a burdensome journey. And they're, they're, frankly, this person isn't sure if they're able to do it because it's too much of a burden. But they're burdened by their obsession with you. So it's kind of like, you know, catch 22. The hermit in the immediate um, future, this person's going to stay silent. But Bill, if, if you're not talking right now, they're going to stay silent. They're going to stay brooding. They're going to stay in hell in their obsession. You know, this is hell to them. They are in hell. Welcome to hell. In <laughs> um, the long term, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you want some kind of a satisfaction from this person, uh, Gemini, and this is somebody who is going to give you a satisfaction um, in the sense of sending you a message, sending you a long message, sending you a gift, giving you something um, to, giving you something to think about, to ponder. It's someone who is going to materialize in your life in the long term. It may be in the fall or winter season. I don't see this happening before Virgo season, the sharp bit bill. But everyone's timelines are different. Always remember that. Um, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I am only a random woman on the internet. You know how it goes, bit bell. All right, Gemini. Um, do we want some advice for this douche flute? Let's get some advice. All right, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. You know, it may feel like this, this you, you were meant to meet each other. I think more for this person, they're le learning a very important lesson, you know, something they did not appreciate or didn't notice, uh, maybe to some extent, that was so special and scrumptious, is now following them all around the world. Um, 
uh, and you know the wheel of fortune is karma so there is you know quite possibly karma between you something to be worked out something to be learned and they will be coming back around what you you know what you need to think about Gemini but Bill is you know is this do you want to include this in your fate because but Bill, I'm not one of those readers who are like, this is destined, you do definitely happen. No, you have the power to manifest whatever it is that you want, baby, all right? You have that power. So what are you manifesting in your life? Is Should this per person be included in the long term? But the, the Wheel of Fortune will come back around and certainly some kind of justice will be done to you and you will get uh, at least an explanation, an apology or something from this person in the long term. And what you want to do with that is up to you. All right, my baby, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your douche flute, as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that tells the AI overlords at YouTube. I love you, AI overlords. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> um, <clears throat> don't cancel me. Uh, it tells them that you like my channel and that really helps your mommy out. And uh, yeah, for personal readings, love spells, etc., all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gucci, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>